What's the capital of Australia? I don't know. What do koalas eat? I don't know. Who's Dame Edna? I don't know. What are 27 better ways to say I don't know? Oh man, bug it if I know. G'day you mob, I am Pete Smithson, the host of this channel Aussie English and it is my goal at this channel to help you build confidence, speak fluently and take your English to the next level. In today's video, I'm going to teach you 27 better ways to say I don't know. You're going to use that phrase a lot in any language, let alone English, but it's time to learn quite a few more variations, okay? You can do better than I don't know. Before we get into it guys, don't forget to check out my advanced English podcast at aussieenglish.com.au. Alternatively, you can do a search on any good podcast application for Aussie English and you will find it. This is a great way to improve your listening comprehension and take your English to the next level faster. And lastly, don't forget to smash that subscribe button guys. Poke, give a little poke to that bell notification button so that you can stay up to date with all of my advanced English videos just like this one. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, so number one, number one is dunno, right? So you've got, I don't know. You can say that very well, I don't know. You'll know this sentence. But a better way of saying this is dropping the I, so you don't need to say the pronoun, and you just say, dunno. Dunno. Where's Pete? Dunno. Number two, it beats me. And again, you can drop the pronoun there, it, and just say, beats me. It beats me, beats me. As in the question beats me. I don't understand, I don't know, because that question beat me, right? It beats me. What's the answer? <laughs> beats me. Number three, this is a polite one. I can't help you there. Or we can drop the I and just say, can't help you there. Excuse me, do you know where North Melbourne is? Sorry, mate, can't help you there. Number four, to not make heads or tails of something. To not make heads or tails of something. You'll often hear this as can't make heads or tails of something. Man, I can't make heads or tails of what this thing is. <laughs> Number five, clueless. Clueless. You literally have no clue, <laughs> which is another one. <laughs> you are clueless. It's two for one, I guess. No clue, clueless. When he asked me the question, I was clueless. Number six, to have no idea. I have no idea. No idea. So we can contract that down. I have no idea. No idea. I have no idea what you're on about, mate. Absolutely no idea. Number seven, don't ask me. Is everyone eating at the restaurant? Don't ask me. Number eight, God only knows. Ugh, God only knows. And this is actually a three for one, okay? You're gonna hear God only knows, goodness only knows, and Lord only knows. This is a sort of polite way of saying, I've absolutely no idea. What time's the footy match? Lord only knows, God only knows, goodness only knows. This is something my grandma would say. Number nine. Good question, hmm, good question. You can say, it's a good question, or you can drop it's a, and just say, oh, good question. Good question, and it shows, you think the question's good, obviously, but you don't know the answer to it. What's the capital of Australia? Good question. And number 10, how should I know? How should I know? This is said when you wanna show that asking you that question was Silly because you have no idea, right? How should I know? Why would I know? How should I know? Who's the most famous Australian? <laughs> How should I know, mate? All right, guys, let's take a quick break and I want you to give this video a like if you have already heard some of those expressions before for how to say I don't know because that means you've been studying well and your English is leveling up fast, okay? So give it a like if you know some of those and before we continue, I want you to take a break, I want you to read those expressions we went over and I want you to comment one of them down below in a comment, okay? The best way to learn vocab, to learn expressions is to use it straight away and get it in your head, okay? So take one of those expressions you didn't know and comment below. Use it to learn it. 
All right, let's keep going. I've got another 10 expressions for you. Number 11, I don't know the first thing about something. I don't know the first thing about something. This just shows you have absolutely no idea about that thing, right? So for example, I don't know the first thing about cars and motors. I don't know the first thing about them. Number 12, <laughs> this is a common one. Usually when you're asked to read something or interpret something and you can't do it, right? You don't know. It's all Greek to me. It's all Greek to me. As if you're someone who doesn't speak Greek and you're looking at it like, I don't know what this is, right? So someone might say to you, Pete, what does this computer code say? And I might say, man, it's all Greek to me. No idea. Number 13, no idea. So you can say, I have no idea and it may just be shortened to no idea. No idea, absolutely no idea. Where's the closest pub? No idea. Number 14, to not have a clue. So we've done clueless, we've done no clue, and there can be also to not have a clue. Which way do I go to Melbourne? <laughs> Man, I don't have a clue. You're barking up the wrong tree. That's a good one for you're asking the wrong person. You are barking up the wrong tree. Number 15, to not have the faintest idea. Who's this guy? Mate, I don't have the faintest idea who he is. Number 16, to not have the foggiest idea. I guess the idea here would be that you have an idea of something when you know it, and if it's really foggy, you can't make it out, right? And so you don't even have that as a foggy idea, as a kind of like an idea that's really, you know, obscure and hard to nail down. Mate, I'm lost. I haven't got the foggiest idea where I am. Number 17, to not know something for the life of you, right? So you don't know it. Even if you had to bet your life on it or your life was on the line, you have no idea, you don't know for the life of you. Ah, oh, what's her name again? Oh, I don't know for the life of me. Number 18, search me, search me. I guess that's like someone's come to me looking for an answer and I say, you can search me and you won't find that answer, right? Search me. What's the best part about being an Aussie? <laughs> search me, mate, search me. Number 19. Who knows? Who knows? This is like a rhetorical question, right? You're asking a question, but you don't actually want an answer to it. You're suggesting that no one knows, right? Or maybe that you should go and try and find someone who knows. So someone might ask you a question, guys, what's Pete's middle name? And you might say, who knows? Who knows? And the very last one, guys, number 20. Number 20 is, your guess is as good as mine. So. Neither of us know, you can guess, and it's probably as good as my guess would be. Your guess is as good as mine. Where's the closest beach? <sighs> Mate, your guess is as good as mine. All right, guys, good job. You just learned 20 expressions, and now I have seven more for you that are informal slang that you can use in conversation, except three of these are incredibly rude, well, they're not incredibly rude, but they're rude. They use the F-bomb, the F-word, and I'm gonna save those for the podcast episode for this episode, okay? So if you wanna to listen to those, go down below and click on the Aussie English podcast episode, which will include these three ruder versions of saying, I don't know, okay? And I'll see you there. Anyway, let's keep going with the other four. Number one, how on earth should I know? How on earth? should I know? So this is just a derivation of how should I know? And you can say on earth to sort of emphasize it, right? How on earth should I know? How on earth should I know? What's the square root of a thousand? <laughs> how on earth should I know? Two, how the hell should I know? Mm, so you can sort of use different uh, emphasizing words like on earth, hell, and to uh, emphasize that you don't know, right? How the hell should I know? What's your grandson's middle name? How the hell should I know? That was my uh, grumpy man impersonation. Number three, this is a classic Australian one, guys. Okay, so we use bugger or buggered as a kind of swear word, but you can kind of use it anywhere. It's kind of not really that rude compared to some other words, right? So buggered, you can say here buggered if I know. Okay, bugger if I know, as in, how would I know, right? I don't know, screwed if I know, bugger if I know. What time's dad coming over? Ugh. 
Bugger if I know. Number four, and the last one for the video episode, remember there'll be three more for the podcast episode. Number four is stuff to fino. Again, a kind of polite swear word if there is such a thing. Stuff to fino. What's Australia's biggest mammal? <laughs> stuff to fino, mate. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to go down in the comments and try and use some of these expressions, especially ones you like and you want to use in your day-to-day -day English starting now. Also hit that subscribe button guys and smash the bell notification button if you wanna stay up to date with all of my future videos just like this one to teach you advanced English. And lastly, go and check out my podcast, The Aussie English Podcast. You can listen anywhere, anytime to level up your English and learn things like expressions, Australian culture, Australian history, and I even interview people on there sometimes about really interesting topics. It's a great place to level up your English. Thanks again, and I'll chat to you soon. Peace.